Hi folks, how you doing? Russell True Results 303.com. Check out the website, link in the description box, My Body Spirit Fitness. Put in the healing back in health. Follow my social media, Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus. The podcast is out there. Check out the website, get your free downloads on setting goals that are going to help you get in the best shape of your life, get you back in the game. All right. Coming at you today uh, with a video on how to prevent mouth breathing when sleeping. I just got this comment on one of my videos about how to stop mouth breathing. I've been a mouth breather my whole life, right? I've, I've slowly been able to overcome that. Uh, but once again, it takes practice. It's like anything else in life. There are exercises that you need to do. So check out that video <clears throat> that I have on that. One of the comments on that video was, I can breathe through my nose fine when I'm upright, but when I lay down at night, I'll wake up in the middle of the night and I am now breathing through my mouth. I have this problem too. I'm breathing through my mouth right now. My nose is clogged. It's springtime here in Colorado, so I've got major allergies. And I think you've got to understand that when our body starts to get positioned in different ways, we've got gravity, everything kind of elongates, your body is moving into different positions, and now it's going to prevent you or create new obstacles for your body, for your breathing techniques, right? So the number one thing <clears throat> is what I used to do a lot that would help, and I, once again, I, I've been slacking on my prayer and my quiet time with the Lord, but lay down, just lay down and breathe, <laughs> right? That's an exercise. Just lay down on your back on the ground, and, and breathe, right? Right now, I'm really clogged. Same thing for me when I get on the inversion table. I don't stay on my inversion table too long when I do because when I go completely upside down, my nose is completely clogged. I cannot breathe through my nose to save my life when I get on that inversion table. So you've slowly got to bring yourself in on that inversion table, half like you're laying down, and slowly bring yourself down. But it's like anything else, your body's in a new position that you're not used to. You used to being upright all day. It's easy to breathe this way when you've been practicing. If you haven't been laying down and practicing, how do you expect anything? So the best thing you can do is, if you're a, pra a person that prays, uh, you listen to audio books, whatever the case may be, <clears throat> lay down and do those things. I used to do that a lot. I used to lay down and pray and meditate and contemplate life, right? So if you can start doing that and practicing, you're going to be ready. Another thing is I've found that if I'm laying straight down on my back, like they say is supposedly the healthiest way to lay if you have back, neck problems, things like that, I usually don't have that issue. It's when I start rolling to side or side that I have issues breathing through my nose. So as long as I can stay perfectly on my back, I usually don't have any problems. So once again, it depends on your sleeping position, I would say. But you're going to have to trial and error. You're going to have to try these things out for yourself. And if it is your side sleeper, then once again, when you're laying on the ground, lay on your side, figure it out, right? Next thing is maybe do you have the correct pillow, right? If you have that really soft pillow, if you're laying on your side, your head's still sinking into that pillow, right? If you have a firmer pillow, if you're, if you're like this, you're already cranking down your neck sideways. You're restricting your breathing, your capability to speak or anything like that, I would assume, right? So what you can do now is if you have a pillow that, you know, maybe double pillow if you have that really soft pillow or you have that memory foam pillow that's firmer and as long as you're laying sideways, your head is straight with your body and not cranked down, right? So once again, that depends on how you sleep if you're sleeping sideways. For me, sometimes if I'm sleeping on my back, I don't use a pillow at all, right? That's going to keep your line in that, your head in that perfect uh, spine alignment. Like if you're doing a squat, you put the bar on your, you know, you get the PVC, sorry, I'm really sore. You get the PVC, you're here, it's on your back, it's going to touch the middle, it's on the back of your head, it's going to touch the middle between your shoulder blades, and then it's going to touch right at your butt bone, right? That's perfect. Remember, perfect, perfect posture is not like that. You're arching from your back. So it'd be flat back, shoulders back, right? That's good posture. This is a good posture. Pushing that belly out is not good posture. That's going to create more back pain. So just nice, 
upright, shoulders locked in. Right? So, once again, give those a try. Hopefully, it's going to help you. It's like anything else in life. You're going to have to get used to it. You're going to have to train your body to do it. You've been dysfunctional. Now, we have to come back into play and figure these things out and get your body used to these new positions and, and the way you're sleeping. All right? So, once again, I hope this helps. Don't forget to follow on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Google+. The podcast is out there as well. Subscribe to this channel. Share and like these videos.